What is up everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike, full-time media seller, Amazon, eBay. Welcome back to another wonderful video. We got all kinds of stuff happening in today's video. eBay, Amazon, eBay crybabies on YouTube, a bunch of different stuff. But first off, what did I list on eBay today for you all to go run and buy? I listed a DVD. So you're probably thinking, Mike, if you sell DVDs on Amazon, why are you listing DVDs on eBay? We have Tommy Wiseau presents The Neighbors, the complete season one, six episodes. See the barcode's like real tiny. Uh, this is a weird one. I don't know. Tommy Wiseau was like a huge like cult following. He was known for the room. I think it was like a cheat. It was like it was a terrible movie, but like his acting is like it's so wacky and just out there that he's got like a cult following, right? So I bought this DVD for a dollar and I got home. And don't you know, on the inside, we have a nice little headshot of Tommy. That is actually signed by Tommy Wiseau. So, hey, added benefit here. There's actually two of them in there, but only one of them was signed. So, I always tell everybody, hey, if something's signed, you ain't gonna get your bang for your buck on Amazon. It's gotta go on eBay. So I did a little bit of research here. The actual DVD set seems to sell for anywhere between like 25 and like 40, 45 dollars. And then his autographs go for around, depending on how big it is and what the autograph says. This says, to Ryan, love Tommy Wiseau with his initial. Um, it seems like they go around 25 to like 50 bucks, upwards of that. So I figured I'd combo deal these up on eBay. We'll pop the screenshot up here. We listed it for $49.99. Free shipping, best offer always on. So if you're a fan of Tommy Wiseau, and you watch this channel, and this is still available when you're watching, and you really want a signature, maybe you don't have this DVD set, send me a lowball offer, I'll probably take it. I'm all into this for one stinking dollar. So this was pretty cool. Um, like I said, if you don't know who Tommy Wiseau is, when you're done watching this YouTube video and liking this video and commenting on this video, go look up some Tommy Wiseau stuff. You're gonna be laughing all the way. All right. That's what we listed on eBay. It's got to go on my eBay shelf. It's pretty depleted over here. You guys know I'm not that huge into eBay, but it is over there now. eBay's out of the way. Have I sold anything on eBay? I have. I, I took an offer on a book that I, I had listed for 25. Dr. Culpepper's Medicinal something. I don't know. If you guys go to my store, you can see what's sold. I sold some Hershey limited edition candy bars as well. So it's, I mean, it's not terribly cold today. It's like, it's hoodie weather, probably a little bit more than hoodie weather. I'm still a little congested as well. I've had like this sickness for like three weeks now. It's driving me nuts, but we're going live. I hired a weatherman. You're not going to believe who this weatherman is. We're going live to the weather. Take us away, weatherman. The weather out here is miserable. As you can see, there is some snow still left. We got about five inches of snow, but at the end of the day, stuff has to go out to UPS. Let me grab my box here out of the Lamborghini. One, I know, Home Depot box, right? You know, I always say use the, the small Lowe's boxes, but for some reason I said, hey, let me pop in Home Depot and buy a box. 17 by 11 by 11, these things are weird shaped. I only bought one. I'm never using Home Depot boxes again, but at the end of the day, sourcing's fun, right? We all like to go to the thrift stores. That's where I'm headed after I'm done here at UPS. But if you do not list your stuff on eBay, which, you know, that means taking photos, throwing it up on your shelf, or getting your junk out to Amazon like this box here, you're never gonna make any money. Listen, you can't let stuff sit around, even with Amazon. I got about 90 media in here, about three books, and probably 70-ish CDs and about 15 DVDs. If you let this stuff sit around, think about it, right? Every day, every second on Amazon, people are repricing their inventory. 
the prices are only going down for the most part, probably 95% of the time on Amazon. So get in the mindset of every week, get to UPS. Every two weeks, if you're part-time, I'm fine with that, but make sure you get this stuff out. It can't sit around for a month. It can't sit around for two months because then what happens here, even though it's cold and miserable out and you got an easy excuse not to go to the UPS store, because it's cold and miserable out. By the time you get around to sending in all your junk, you don't make no money. Or when you're listing, you realize, hey, why is this Why is this only selling for $9 now? Well, if you would've got it in a month ago, it still would've been profitable. So back to you, Mike, at the storage unit. I'm sure it's nice and warm in there, right? I heard it's like all done up. You know, you got like a nice little heater in there. So back to you. All right. Thank you, Mike, the weather guy out there at the UPS store right now. I bet he's probably in that UPS store and there's people returning all kinds of stuff to Amazon. That fool is sending in stuff to Amazon while 95% of people in the UPS store are returning stuff to Amazon. I mean, I don't know how he makes money doing what he does. Anyways, the heck with that guy. Some sales on Amazon. I'm gonna show you a book, a CD, a DVD that we sold, give you guys the full breakdown of profit. Maybe I can remember how much I got them. And I kind of wanted to jump into this topic a little bit because it's, it's driving me nuts. And I don't know why this happens on YouTube, but I always, always see the crying eBay seller videos in my feed. Maybe it's because, listen, I'm gonna share that with you. I click through the comments to see what people are saying, right? and it's nothing but negativity. But these idiots out there, you know who they are, right? Do, do, do I really gotta start outing people by name to like make you guys realize it's all BS? Like, listen, if your stuff ain't selling, there's a problem with the stuff you're selling or the way you run your business. Let me get into some sales before I get too heated here and I lose, I lose my breath because I'm short breath here from this cold. All right. First up, we have a CD, the best of SOS band. I have no idea who the SOS band is. Maybe you do. I have no idea. We sold it for $26. We made $16.88. CDs were into no more for $1.99. So we put almost $15 in our pocket. I love selling CDs. I actually have some back over there that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit later to what we're sending into Amazon, but selling CDs, 26 bucks, you take home 16 before your buy cost and all you do is slap a little label on the back and ship it in. I try to tell you all, regardless of all the nonsense you hear out there and you can easily get caught up in this downward spiral, you can still make a lot of money. Here I am, all right? I'm not no different than anybody watching this, right? I might be, you know, might be a little bit more ragged looking than somebody out there, right? You all probably look much better than me. But when it comes to knowledge, you go, you all got me beat. If you go out there and you put in the work, you're going to see results. Selling CDs? Here we go. I got to pull out the troll. Dude, nobody listens to music CDs. They don't even put CD players in cars no more. You can't listen to these types of people. Just like you can't listen to these idiots that say, eBay is dying, the platform's dead. Run away from these people. Run, run, run. If somebody sells on eBay and seriously thinks that eBay is dying, why don't they go talk to somebody that's doing six figures, seven figures? I mean, I wish <laughs> I wish I could just drop like, uh, Hey, you think eBay is dying? Oh, I'll give you XYZ's number, right? There's so many people out there crushing eBay. A lot of you watching this right now are getting results with eBay. So I don't want you to be sucked into this nonsense. I get so ticked off when I see this because negativity drags everybody down. I want everybody to be uplifted. I want everybody to be making money. Selling CDs on Amazon is one foolproof way you can make money. And it doesn't cost a lot to start. You don't store it, you send it to Amazon, it sells. And yes, CDs sell. I don't care what nobody says because I have the proof, right? If you need somebody to give you proof in a positive light that people still buy books, CDs, DVDs, ring my line. I'll pick up every time and be like, hey, you can make well over six figures selling media on Amazon still and eBay. Selling media on eBay is still worth it. Even if you don't wanna do Amazon, 
plenty of money. You've seen the Tommy Wiseau signed stuff? Like, that's out there everywhere we look. Tangent on CDs. Sell CDs. Don't believe the negativity. And I know there's a lot out there, but there are so many uplifting eBay YouTube channels out there. I mean, come on now. Like, you only got to get away from that once. Get in somebody that's got a positive mindset, positive spirit when it comes to selling on eBay. Sure, we all get frustrated, but I mean, some of these idiots, every video is, mm, eBay team does my business and damn it because of eBay. Get out of here. Moving on, our book sale. I am the used book guy. Occasionally I sell a book. I know who. People still read. They still print books. Yes, they do. The Kindle did not crush the actual physical book market. We have Creating a Life Together, Practical Tools to Grow, Eco Villages, and Intentional Communities. This sounds like a pretty dope book. I'm all for about like, I'm not one of these crazy people, right? Save the world. We're destroying the world. For those that know me a little bit more personally, I'm really going to talk about it. I'm a vegetarian, but like, I can, I don't care. Listen, you want to go to Arby's? You want to go to Hardee's? You want to go to McDonald's? I got, I got no shame in anybody's game. It's just a personal choice I make. I don't try to push it on anybody else, but I am into the aspect of like homesteads and growing your own vegetables. Like that's one of the things me and Deb talk about when we have a house with a yard, we want to grow like seasonal vegetables and things like that. But none of this crazy stuff, like I'm gluing my hand to the to the parking lot of Goodwill and I'm not moving until people stop using gasoline cars. None of that kind of nonsense. But a fun fact is I am a vegetarian, I still drink milk. I still eat cheese, although I try to stay away from both because I'm lactose intolerant. But that's a little fun fact here and listen, all you meat eaters that are down there, write in the comment up right now. Eat some meat, you weakling. You ain't never gonna grow. <laughs> I'm too old to grow anymore. All I'm gonna grow is this way. I'm gonna get real fat real quick. <laughs> so to each their own, but yeah, I, th I th felt that was a cool fun fact. Anyway, we sold this book for, I don't even tell you how much it sold for. $32.99, profit was $20.53. This was from a library pickup. If you guys don't know, I work with libraries. How do you work with libraries, you may be asking yourself. Well, you provide a service to a library. A lot of libraries run on volunteers, right? People don't want to volunteer all day. Every day, they get huge donations of books because where else do people get rid of books? The first thing that comes to their mind is, hey, I can take these to the library and get rid of them. So I work with libraries to remove everything they don't want, which in most cases are books that are older than three years old. So anything that's new, they'll keep. They either have a little free section or a little section where they sell some books. Most of them have library sales, but everything else you take off of their hands, right? This isn't a little picky situation where I go in and I only take what I want. I provide the service of removing all of the books. They get DVD donations, CD donations. How did I come about getting a library relationship? I hear this all the time and like people expect this crazy like I'm going to give you the 10 step program here to guarantee you a bulk library source. That's not the case. Um, I actually got mine through just my, my free pickup ads, right? So if you don't know, you can put free pickup ads on Craigslist, Nextdoor, Facebook. That's how I walked into mine. The library had somebody else that was making them get rid of the books. So the way I looked at it was, okay, we have volunteers wasting time getting rid of the stuff we can't take. Well, I provide the service where I come to them when they need it, I clean it all out. They don't need any volunteers to, you know, lug the stuff off to a thrift store. And that's what was happening. They were working with a local thrift store chain and the thrift store chain said, hey, the only way we're taking them is if you bring them to us, provide a better service. That's what I did. And for the rest of my life, as long as I live in this area, I will have library pickups every single month. I do donate to the library, right? You gotta keep good faith, good juju coming your way. But it's definitely worth it. So, I mean, that's how I got that source, nothing special. I fill up the Lamborghini once a month with books. It is what it is. And hey, they talk to another library. All of a sudden I got another library. Then I got another library. And then I own all of the libraries here in the Bahamas. So, all right, next up, DVD. This is a, I've sold this one multiple times. Mind Your Language Volume 1. This is a kid's DVD. Be on the lookout for these. There's actually a bunch of volumes, but this was Volume 1. We sold this for $37.33. 
Profit was $26.50. At most, we're into it for $2.99 from the Goodwill. $23, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Anything that's like kids educational. <coughs> Give me a second. I got a drink from my tall boy here, my 40 ounce. Anything that's educational, even CDs, uh, like counting CDs, ways to count, ways to speak like this one, mind your language, anything that's educational with kids in the CDs or DVD market, you need to be scanning. You should be scanning most of the stuff anyway. I feel like I'm just like beating a dead horse over here when I tell you guys, scan. But that's how you make money. There's no secret recipe to this. The only reason somebody like me or somebody like you makes more money than somebody else is because you're out there putting in more scans. The more you scan, the more you find, the more you make. <laughs> There's no magic, no magic wand I can wave. I should get a wand. No magic wand I can wave. You will be a millionaire this year selling on Amazon. You gotta get out there, you gotta put in the reps. Um, sounds cheesy, but that's what I do. I go out, I scan everything. Then you learn about things like mind your language so you know when you see it, hey, this will probably be an accept. So that's the sales for the week. What am I sending into Amazon? Let me get my handy dandy. EOYO, finger scanner, link in description, same shameless plug because I've had this thing since I started selling on Amazon, I'll be, listen, it's finally starting to go. Uh, I've had this since day one. I actually bought Deb one as well, so I'm gonna swap this out. It's kind of like the button on the sides finally run its course after like 10 million scans. This thing can't be beat. You still got both hands. It's got a swivel head, so you don't even gotta pull the books all the way out. It is a little bit more expensive, but I promise you, this will change your life. If you got one of those little remote guys, it's time to upgrade. I'm telling you to upgrade. It's, tw it's 2024. It's time to upgrade you and your business and this finger scanner. And listen, you're like you're like a Thundercat or like a Power Ranger with this thing, right? I walk in the store and they see me wearing this, rocking this fat diamond on my hand. They're like, shush. This guy means business, right? Like, yeah. I'm tempted to buy like, I don't know, how many Super Bowls does Tom Brady have? Like seven Super Bowls? What if I'm walking around with seven ring scanners just to be like, yeah, I'm that dude, right? You don't know who I am? You're gonna know, right? <laughs> I'm shutting up. This is some random stuff I've sourced the past week that I'm sending into Amazon. No books, but uh, CDs and DVDs. Let me get my screen recording here. I have no idea if these are profitable, what they are. We'll find out together. When I scanned them, they were profitable, but we all know that really doesn't mean much. Uh, this is a ABC Rhino CD, the best of Schoolhouse Rock. No idea school, who Schoolhouse Rock is. 1998, profit is... All right, we got two different listings. Of course, we don't want Alice Cooper. We want this one. 37 sales score. This thing sells every single week at least. Great rank here. Uh, I mean, if this thing was new, whoo, that'd be a nice bill. Used buy box is $27. At most, I'm into this for two bucks. We'll make over $15. Schoolhouse Rock. If you're gated in Rhino, you can get ungated. There's plenty of steps here that you can take uh, to get ungated. Shelby Lynn. Just a little love in here. The buy box is going to the merchant fulfilled here. Let's go to live. <laughs> There's one FBA at 1358. I think I'll price around that. We'll make five bucks after fees, not too shabby. <laughs> this was a funny one. <laughs> I remember listening to some of this stuff growing up. ESPN's Jock Jams. Can you guess some songs on ESPN Jock Jams from 1995. Number one, Let's Get Ready to Rumble by Michael Buffer. Get Ready for This, that's another one. Whoop, there it is. I mean, this has got some bangers on it. Tootsie Roll, It Takes Two, Hip Hop Hooray, 
Oh, <laughs> pump up the volume. YMCA, I mean, come on. Like, YMCA has got to be like one of the top cheesiest, corniest dance floor songs, right? Like, if I go to the club and they ain't playing YMCA, I'm out. Pump up the jam. <laughs> Don't get no better than that. Anyway, is this thing even going to make you any money, Mike? Shut up. It's Slim Pickens out here. I'm sure when I scanned this, it was probably a little bit more than 1086. I still make $4 after fees. I'll probably price this up. You see it sells at least twice a week, almost three times a week. Probably price this around 12 bucks, make five, six dollars after fees. Not too shabby. <coughs> DVD time, Barbara Streisand. I'm not a big Barbara fan. I see all of her CDs all the time, uh, but this was a profitable move. I didn't pay $1.50. This was from one of my backroom locations. I'm into this for $1. Sticker don't even want to come off. This is absolutely terrible DVD. I have no idea why I bought this, but hey, here we are. Uh, $7.55. Whoever is selling this for $7.55 is going to make $1.33. I'll probably price it closer to $9.99. Hopefully, I'll make three bucks out of it. Maybe I'll make two bucks. It sells quick, so at least it's got a sell through, but nah, this sucks. That sucks. I knew Barbara sucked anyway. I told you guys that. All right. Jack Lemon. I've sold lots of, I, I don't even know that's if, how you pronounce it. Jack Lemon, Jack Lemon, uh, his older stuff. MGM Zabolo, always pay attention to MGM. Let's see what we got out of here. Quick little tip here, if it's got this fake barcode that's like covering the actual barcode, you can just pop this back off. If it doesn't have the sticker, it's usually what I do. And then you can just easily scan the real barcode. All right, 1284 buy box, $5. We paid a dollar. We'll make $4.50 after fees. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you're probably thinking, well, he showed what we got. No, we got another reporter live on the scene outside of a good a goodwill right now to prove to you all that you still can find profitable items at the goodwill. So take it away. What is up? We are live outside of the Goodwill for all of you non-believers that think there's no good stuff in my thrift stores. We got our little Ikea bag here because Goodwill makes you bring your own bags. As you can hear, it's like chaos. It sounds like I'm in the middle of a downtown city. We got our senior citizen discount today, suckers. All right, before all you seniors out there get all bent out of shape, why do you have a senior citizen discount, bro? You're like, you look like you're 16. Back in the day when I first started thrifting at Goodwill, I went to this one store consistently. I made friends with the kid that worked there and I went on senior citizen day. And he said, yo, you want me to put you in the system as a senior citizen? That was like six years ago. They finally brought back senior discount. I get 15% off on senior day. Be salty, be mad. I really don't care. I'm gonna show you guys that we did find some stuff. So, the best book we found right here. If you ever see this brand, Osborne or whatever it is, the kid stuff does really well. We paid $4. Profit on this is actually around $25. It does have the little train, right? Make sure it has the things it's supposed to have. Uh, so that was the best book we found. Got a bunch of DVDs. If I can get them out of here. Veggie Tales, Max Licato, old school Starlight from the Heart. I mean, there's stuff out here to be found. I'm telling you all, you gotta put in the time. You gotta put in the effort of scanning and scanning and scanning. Whether it's Amazon, whether it's eBay, you gotta be in these stores consistently, looking stuff up. The only way you make money if you spend money that's just the reality of it cds we got flogging molly disney's brother bear highlights from shrek the musical the shack and then wayne newton so not too bad here this is the first time i've been here in a few weeks since i've been sick so uh not a bad haul i'm just here to tell you guys there's stuff to be found in these thrift stores you just got to get out there put in the time put in the effort and uh make luck quote unquote so back to you mike in the storage unit thanks for the report out there at the goodwill listen i mean that guy just summed it up 
if you get out there in the Goodwills, in the Salvation Armies, the Savers, the Red, White, and Blues, the Goodwill Bins, you are going to find stuff as long as you know what you're looking for and as long as you are putting in the time and effort. And I'm here to tell you, if everybody complains or somebody you watch complains about they don't sell stuff on eBay or Amazon because the platform, it's every... When somebody's deflecting all of the blame, that's a huge red flag. And that goes for these crappy YouTube resellers. If all you see is negativity, I want you to just walk away, honestly. It might not seem like a lot today, like, oh, well, if I stop watching somebody, like, it's gonna uplift your spirits. I'm being straight up with you. I used to be subscribed to a lot of resellers. I have slimmed that list down considerably. I don't have time. I don't have the energy to listen to the nonsense because I see people, I know people, people in the group crushing eBay, crushing Amazon. I see other people out there crushing eBay, crushing Amazon. Stay away from that. It's all bad juju, bad vibes. And like I said, if they're always deflecting, they don't want to take no responsibility for the downswing in their business. And it's always somebody else's fault. eBay's, Amazon, the fees, um, the sun rising. Uh, it's raining today. I can't do nothing. I got an upset tummy. I can't do nothing. Cut out the excuses. Get rid of these people from your YouTube feed. You'll be a lot better. And if you ever need anything, you're feeling down in the dumps. Reach out to me, I'll lift you up. I'll tell you, you can do it. And here's the steps to do it, right? It's, it's a clear cut procedure on how to be successful reselling. So that's gonna do it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more usable videos. Bye-bye.